Welcome. We're here because we hate passwords. They're needless, they're old fashioned, they're a burden on everyone and on us. They're a pain for customers. You know, making up a password is tedious. There's no normally standard format that you have to comply. You know, do you use a special character or not? And then the average person has to manage something like 90 passwords. So your entire password estate or whatever the collective noun is, is it even more tedious. And then remembering passwords that you only use intermittently even if you try and use a password manager, that's a slight cost and also tedious. It, it just encourages risky behaviours on the part of normal people repeatedly using the same old password over and over and over again, which makes this an incredibly insecure and unsatisfactory experience. And it's a pain for you as a business because you have to ask for this stuff in a way that's quite interruptive. You know, if I go to a normal shop, no one stands there at the door saying, excuse me, sir, but could you have a username and password before you enter? Um, I'm not necessarily ready to commit at that moment when you want to ask me these questions. And so I, like most other people, can often just walk away and abandon that shopping cart. Even if you've managed to make the user experience really elegant, it's still a massive liability. You know, the possibility of data breaches and the reputational damage that comes with that, not to mention the possibility of an investigation and possible fine by regulators or even legal action. And then cost. You've got to develop it. You've got to store it. You've got to secure it. You've got to have mechanisms for resetting your password, uh, escalation up to customer services who have to listen to people moaning because they've changed their email address and all sorts of things. And really, it's, it's no fun for developers either, is it, Lee? No, I don't want passwords or a gaggle of passwords. I don't want to create a password system either. You know, it's been done a hundred times before. Let's not reinvent the password wheel. Let's just let organizations whose business it is to deal with security and enjoy doing things around passwords and security, do that. Treat it as a commodity, because that's what it is. If you're a startup, you don't want to be spending time designing a, a username and password system. I don't want to be building a forgotten password email system and email templates and all that kind of stuff, which is essentially insecure as well. I wouldn't go out and write my own crypto library. So why would I want to do this? It's inconvenient. It's not as secure as um, other alternatives. But what is that alternative? Passwordless. I know, Rob, you hate the word password wordless for Horrible. multiple Horrible. reasons, mainly because it contains the word password as well. <laughs> um, it's not telling you what it is. It's telling you what it isn't. But yeah, there are ways of doing it. So let's just show you a quick demo. So this demo is taken from our App Accelerator and it uses a couple of our integrations. One of them is called Auth0 and the other one is called Twilio. Auth0 is doing all of the complexity, the commodity login, and Twilio is doing the sending of the SMS. So I load up the app, um, it asks for my phone number. Usually we won't have to type this in because on iOS, uh, the keyboard suggests your phone number if you can't remember it. Uh, and then on Android, it usually just goes straight in. So I tap next on this, hopefully I get a text message. I do get a text message. Don't even need to type in the code that comes through because boom, I'm logged in, I have an account. It's that straightforward. So as you can see, that is so much easier. Um, there's nothing to remember. I mean, it is a, a bit of a disconcerting experience sometimes for users. You know, they kind of have to do this and then do that and then get their phone and then do this other thing. It doesn't really make any sense to the user, but they only have to do what they're told. And once they've done it, there's nothing to remember. Better than that, they get effortless maximum security. And they only have to do it once, or at least uh, rarely, you know, if you change your bank card maybe, or change your phone or something like that. And then for the business, you are not introducing your new customer that you're trying to uh, attract with a clunky first interaction. And you're saving money, and you're protecting your reputation, and you're reducing risks all across the board. And then, you know, there are plenty of technical benefits as well. I've seen customers that have tried to spend so much time on that customer onboarding journey and making sure that the way that they enter their username and password and the type of password that they're entering with all the rules surrounding it is taking up more time away from their core business. So avoid doing things that aren't non-core development and supporting those things in production. Use something which is tried and tested. I appreciate that some 
organizations might have le legacy infrastructure. You might have already signed up to Azure B2B and you have to use Azure B2C, but there are migration paths either away from that or ways to incorporate that and link that to a newer, more modern solution. So there are proven solutions available. We could set one up in you know a, literally a matter of hours as opposed to weeks. And you can still brand it and you brand the experience to your to your company. It doesn't mean that you have to have some horrible white page with horrible clunky boxes in it to input a phone number or something. Uh, there are some passwordless systems that do have a huge action sheet that pops up where you don't get much control over the elements. But if you take a look in our sample code base with the link in the description at the bottom, you'll see that this is two API calls for the demo that I showed you. And you can brand the experience to however you want it to be. You can have a video playing in the background, like the Monza app and that kind of thing. And you can do your own custom validation. You can have your own custom messages. You can have graphics and animations in there if you want to. But don't spend too long on it. <laughs> Get the customer into the app as soon as possible. It also works cross device. So the solution that I showed you there also works on Android devices as well. It's standards compliant. I don't want to be worrying about standards and security. I want to be designing something which is core to the business and adding value to your business. It's perfect for startups, though, if you don't have any legacy infrastructure. If you want to get up and running quickly, lots of commodity off the shelf products that are best in breed, pulling them together in a really succinct and seamless way allows you to focus on that niche, which you might you know, really need to push to get your next series of funding or whatever it might be, or just get users onboarding and using your service. The final demo that I want to show you adds a little bit more privacy to passwordless where Apple do sign in with Apple and you can even mask your email address. So you don't need to ask for a phone number. You don't even need to ask for an email address, but you still get your store card when you walk into that store. So just very briefly, here's the last demo. Load up the app. We use a federated identity provider this time, which is sign in with Apple. We can support things like Facebook. Um, if you're running on Apple, best to sign in with Apple. Um, you tap the button and it says, right, okay, would you like to hide your personal details? Yes, I would like to hide my email address. Continue. Does a face ID check, signs me in. I'm now registered in the app. It is that simple. Wonderful demo. So the, snippet, the snippets are available on GitHub. If you want to find out a little bit more about Sand Digital, you can go to sanddigital.uk. Or even better still, you can chat to one of us because we quite like a good chat. We certainly do possibly a bit evangelical about this. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you.